it works. This is Max with a improved counterweight system and bracing with the 2x4s instead of the white PVC pipes. This is the improved counterweight system for Max. It is both a lever and a counterweight. So as the joystick gets pushed forward, the weight moves forward. Pull it back, the weight moves back. And here we're able to, again, get pretty good pitch up and pitch down by simply moving a 10 pound weight back and forth. See, watch, I'm pulling the stick back. Neutral, pushing it forward. The farther I get from neutral, the harder it is to pull. I can do a lot of maneuvering close to neutral without much control force, but the farther back I pull the joystick, the harder it is. And the farther forward I push the joystick, the harder it is. It was naturally stable. Now I have all of these uh, different slots and things numbered. And this is numbered here for the different holes on here because uh, I, I wanted to try a variety of different uh, lengths for the levers and for the arm here and for the, diff the different positions for the weights, things like that. These are all the different measurements that we have from the length of the chain to the length of the, the levers and the arms that we use and the control mechanism to the weight of the uh, counterweight, the weight of the trim, all these things. So I'm able to adjust all these things and then record uh, how it feels, how, how it works. The pitch potentiometer still works the same as before as the joystick goes forward and back the potentiometer is pulled by these rubber bands underneath I was trying for a little more I guess savvy solution but the rubber bands work really really well and I forgot to mention something since the counterweight mechanism is in the back, that means that the simulator doesn't have to be square, like the plywood there that I'm going to trim off. It can be tapered, like the 2x4 there. You can make the nose nicely tapered, make it look more like a nose cone. This will be trimmed off. This will be trimmed off. I'm thinking seriously about shortening the spars so I can make so I can bring the uprights in closer to make the entire thing more narrow and easier to transport. It's a little difficult to get in and out of. Uh, we ended up shortening the length of the support chains here, which made the seat, the platform, everything higher. Well, that actually, that's a good thing. Now we can lower this pivot point and make the entire simulator shorter. One thing that I discovered that we haven't built yet is we're going to have a control lock for the joystick so it doesn't move, so the weight doesn't flop back and forth when you're trying to get in and out of this. So that's one thing, a control lock. And we'll have a trim weight. Now I just have a, a barbell plate sitting here right now, but 
It'll be adjustable. You can either move it forward or move it back. That's important because I don't know all the weights of the different people that will be uh, flying this. But, no matter who they are, if they just trim it to where the uh, platform is level to begin with, then they're good to go. We trim it once when they get in and no other adjustment is necessary. Now today all these components are just taped in here. The uh, track IR is up on a, uh, a temporary post there, taped to it. This is just to make sure that all the, the major components work correctly. Now as I pull back on the joystick, I get a pretty good pitch up. Maybe not as much as we had earlier, but this is much more controlled. And forward, pitch down. An interesting thing happens with this weight. This counterweight, this is the weight that I'll use for the trim. Right now, I just, I'm just moving it forward or back laying it on the, the, the plywood. But an interesting thing, uh, I found myself wanting to trim the airplane in the simulator with the weight in order to relieve the control pressures off of the joystick. Well that's how the trim works in real airplanes. It's not how it works in a computer simulator, but that's how it works in real airplanes. If you're holding a forward pressure, you use the trim to relieve that pressure, to hold that pressure for you. They can't simulate that on computers with plastic joysticks, but we can certainly simulate it here. Flying around Alaska.